Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Long Dark. This is episode 36 of our playthrough of Stalker Difficulty. And uh, we're back here at our, our house, our temporary location, our temporary base here at Mountaineer's Hut. And uh, we've made it back after a very long and treacherous trip up to the... Oh gosh, we went to the Ash Canyon and a gold mine and got the technical backpack, which has made a huge difference already. Love this backpack. With our well-fed bonus, we're at 10, plus 10 kilograms carry capacity. Huge difference. Uh, we are pretty heavy right now. I got a lot of loot that we carried down from the top of Timberwolf Mountain. We can drop, let's go ahead and drop some of our loot. Oh yeah, we got the heavy hammer as well. Additional heavy hammer, and an additional hunting knife. Just a lot of loot. Uh, which was the purpose for going up there, of course. Um, but tragedy struck, as you can see in the bottom corner. Astrid has permanently got frostbite damage as a result of my uh, ignorance, negligence. And uh, for the rest of this run, it's going to be difficult, guys. She's starting off with a 30% deficit of, of permanent health loss. Um, we are still suffering from intestinal parasites. She's just having a hard time, guys. I'm just not doing too good as a, uh, as a guide for Astrid. Fortunately, we're on our last dose, which we can take tomorrow. We've already taken a dose today, I believe. Possibly afternoon, maybe maybe if the sun's like over here, we might be able to take one more dose. Otherwise, we'll just take it tomorrow. And we should be done with the intestinal parasites. Frostbite is permanent. Pain should go away. Sprain should go away. Uh, wrists here. You know, we're, we're on the mend, but we're never going to regain that frostbite damage, unfortunately. So it is it's going to be a difficult uh, challenge, but but I think we're up to it. Um, looking forward to organizing all this loot. Man, we just got so much loot from going up to the top of Timberwolf Mountain. Heavy hammer. I mean, that was that was quite a job getting that down. Do you have another hunting knife? Got quite the collection here. I don't know if I can fit it in here. Can we fit it right there? Yeah. Doing pretty good. So we got uh, an additional hatchet. See if we can fit this on here somehow. Which maybe we won't. I mean, it's pretty pretty heavy loot uh, loot table here. Uh, maybe right there. It's kind of glitching out. There we go. Bunch of flares. Uh, I almost want to start a new place to put the flares. I just don't have room for all these. Uh, I want to grab that blue flare if it will let me. There we go. Let's put you over here. We got a bunch of storm lanterns uh, from the uh, peak. We can drop these guys as well. A whole bunch of cans. Lots of storm lanterns. One, two, three, four, five additional storm lanterns. Uh, we want to keep the good one. 85%. Okay. I'm just going to harvest this guy up. Get an additional stick, and you guys know I love those sticks. Got a stick out of that, all right. Drop that guy. Got an additional flare gun and four flares, flare shells. So, I mean, we're looking really good. Revolver ammo and rifle ammo, two additional there. I'm going to pick these up so we just combine them. Oops, not that one. There we go. And that sh hopefully will just combine those all together. So now I can drop those separately. Rifle ammo. I do want to keep the rifle ammo. We'll probably, you know what, we're probably heading out of here pretty soon. So I may not need to really organize all this. Uh, so we might be heading out of here. Definitely want to pick up my own. Uh, this is my baby, my hunting rifle. Which uh, I wish we had had this when we encountered 
the moose. In the last episode, we came across the moose, so we knew it was an option. There was a possibility we could have come across the moose at Ash Canyon, and guess what? We found the moose, but uh, for weight restrictions, you know, concerns heading out to Ash Canyon, we left, drop any of this gear. left our rifle behind. So I was not able to get the moose. Uh, but it's probably for the best, because that would have been such a headache. I know I would have wanted to try to get all that meat. I would have wanted to get the hide. And uh, would have been just a nightmare, logistically, trying to get all that back here to the mountaineering hut. Oh boy, so we got all this loot. I'm probably just going to end up taking a lot of this back, honestly, to uh, at least to, like, um, what, the Kwanzaa Garage, maybe? Or some some other central location. Let's take a look at the map here. Let's go to the world map. So we are currently high up Timberwolf Mountain at the base of Timberwolf Mountain here by the lake. And we're going to make our way back probably to Pleasant Valley. And uh, we got a bunch of loot at the Coastal Highway, but I'm thinking uh, maybe Mystery Lake. That that is probably the best place for our central base. And so we might, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go through Pleasant Valley and uh, try to get to Mystery Lake where we can, uh, we can go, I guess, to the, is it called the Game game Lodge or Game Cabin or something like that. But just off on the lake here, there's a, there's a really nice place for a base. And I think that is a nice central location. I have never been to these other places, Hushed River Valley, Mountain Town, Broken Railroad. Leak Inlet. I think I may have tra traveled through the ravine. It's just kind of a transitional zone. But I am looking forward to going to these other places. So currently we just have to spend a little bit of time here because I can't read. I can't read all these books because of my condition. Because of the sprains, because of the parasites. So what we're going to do is currently noon. We're going to pass some time uh, harvesting up a bunch of cloth, getting our clothing mended we got to do it anyway, right? Get our clothing mended up to good condition. And uh, hopefully by then it will be late. We can sleep, recover all of our condition, cure our parasites, gather up all of our stuff, and head out of here. So let's uh, let's do that. I'm going to first, let's take a look at our clothing situation. we got a lot of extra loot, clothing loot, from the top of the mountain. Some of it I might leave here, like these socks. Those are really good socks, and I probably will just leave an extra pair here. In fact, we're going to wear these and take off the 88%. So let's drop the 88%, and we'll put these ones on. Okay, are they frozen or just wet? Wet, 99% wet. Hopefully those will dry out soon uh, while we're here. All right, let's see what else we got. We got an additional balaclava. Uh, I've got one already on the shelf here, uh, but Bella Clavas are pretty rare, pretty useful. I almost want to repair this and uh, leave it here, or possibly even bring one with us. Um, so if we have enough cloth, I might repair that one up. Um, same with combat pants. I mean, these are these are pretty valuable, rare items. Uh, long johns. Do we have an extra pair of long johns here? We do have one extra pair. So I could possibly harvest up our other long johns. I'm gonna make a pile of the things we don't want to destroy. In fact, I'm just gonna put them. I'm just gonna put them in this place right here. I don't want to leave them here because they will eventually deteriorate to nothing if we leave them indefinitely. But for now, we'll put that in there. Let's go to our clothing tab. We're going to leave the socks here. I'm going to leave an additional wool long johns here. I uh, wouldn't mind leaving an extra wool toque. And I think the rest of these we can harvest up that are, uh, that are extras. Oh yeah, combat pants. Okay, those are all really good items. Okay, so let's harvest up some of this cloth. Thin wool sweater. Do I want to harvest up any of this stuff? These are really good. I don't want to. I don't want to lose our parkas. Combat pants and cargo pants. I'm going to harvest these up. Combat pants are good though. I'll leave those. Okay. 
let's get started on harvesting some of the stuff, like the cargo pants. Let's harvest these guys up. I would drink almost anything about now. Are you thirsty, Astrid? Let's get a drink. Make sure we're taking care of you. Let's see what other items we can harvest here. Um, oh, also we got the we got the crampons in the last episode. Uh, so those have been really helpful for climbing ropes and uh, not getting sprains. We we still can get sprains, obviously, but uh, they do help. You can hear the wolves outside the window. It's nice we've uh, got a safe place to stay. This is the only man-made structure on this map that we are in right now. If you can believe that. And uh, if I could, I would actually repair the roof. If I, if they let us, I would climb up there and re repair the roof. This is this is a really nice uh, location. Um, I am pretty sad though that the moose did not spawn at this location. It's possible for you to get the moose right here at the mountaineering hut, and uh, unfortunately, we did not get that option. Um, that would have been so nice to have the moose here. And we never would have got the intestinal parasites. If the moose were here, we could have got tons of meat from, from that. Probably leveled up our cooking to level 5. But it wasn't meant to be, I guess. Okay. I think that's about it for harvesting. Um, as far as food goes, oh wow, look at that. 2% moldy peanut butter. Mmm. Oh yeah. Moldy peanut butter. Well, hey, we never had to dip into our cat's, cattail resources. So that's good. Um, trying to think what else we can work on. We could uh, get our get our equipment up to good condition. Our, uh, we've been using our knife and our hatchet quite a lot. So I think I will sharpen these up. Let me see what kind of whetstones we have over here. We do have an additional whetstone. I want to make sure we use the lowest quality one first. So let's go in here and drop drop our nice whetstone. We'll use up this poor quality one first. And uh, I, I do think our hunting knife is the MVP of this game. Hunting knife is just used for so many things and uh, speeding up processing and stuff. But the close second, I think, is this hatchet. Um, it's also just super useful. Uh, one of my favorite books is called Hatchet. Have you ever heard of that or read that book? Such a good book. It's about a kid who um, his plane crashes. I, I think it's in the Canadian wilderness even. And fortunately he had a hatchet with him. It was a gift given to him just before the plane crashed. And he survives with that hatchet. I'll tell you what. The hatchet is such a useful tool. If I if I had to choose, I think, between either a knife or a hatchet as the only thing I could have with me in, in the wild, I think I would pick the hatchet. Um, but the knife definitely is very useful, very valuable. Let's get this guy sharpened up. And uh, no wonder early man found a way to get a knife, you know, whether it was a shard of really sharp rock of uh, what kind of rock was that obsidian or flint you know early man that's that's the first thing they got the first tool I think was uh, sharp some kind of sharp implement to uh, give them an advantage in the, in the wild and I think close after that probably probably the the hatchet you know Okay, 95%. We only have 5% left on this whetstone. Let's go ahead and use it up. 
It is getting late. We're at 100% with our knife. Love having a sharp, clean, well conditioned knife. Alright, let's see if we can put our whetstone in here to make it disappear. It should just disappear right when we put it in there. Yep, there it goes. And, oh! Forgot we had some cured guts in here. We got all kinds of goodies in here. Okay, we might need to take this old man's beard. I want to check uh, before we leave tomorrow. Yeah, I, I got to remember to check this. So let's check our medical condition here as far as old man's beard. That's the only one we have, guys. That one I just took is the only one we have. So let's see if I can craft up. No, I got to I got to harvest more lichen. So I got to remember so if we see lichen, we got to grab it cuz we only have one. We really need at least two just as a standard uh, everyday travel. Three bandages is okay. I'd prefer to have four. So I'll probably craft up another one of those. Let's see if it will let us let us craft up. We got plenty of cloth now. 21 cloth. So we're doing good for our cloth situation. Let's see. Well, we have just a little bit of daylight left. I'm going to try to repair up some of this clothing. Let's check our conditions here. Some of this clothing is probably kind of low, I would think. 89% on there. Okay, I'm going to repair these up. Fortunately, we have lots of sewing kits. So we're not hurting for sewing kits. Back to 100%. Oh, these guys need to be repaired. 75%. And these are what gave us so much trouble when we got frostbite, guys. Because these were these were wet and then they got frozen before we went to sleep. It was these gauntlets that uh, really, really hurt us. Um, let's go ahead and repair these up. You know, I think if I had even just taken them off when we... Oh, insufficient materials. I think if you, if I had just even taken them off before going to bed, it would have saved us. But because they were wet and frozen, um, we got uh, permanent, 30% permanent damage as a result of that. Okay, I don't think I have any more leather, which makes me kind of wish I'd harvested up uh, from the from the summit. We had a lot of boots up there. And I could have harvested those. Just didn't think about it. Do I have any saplings in my inventory? I do forget to drop those. We're out of leather. Got 19 cloth. Could probably drop the scrap metal here. We don't need to take that with us. And uh, like I said, we are running out of space. Got tons of loot. Did I put stuff in here? Maybe this is where the scrap metal goes. Got to remember we got those fishing hooks in here. And where did I put the scrap metal? I thought I had at least a little bit. Did I put it over here? Don't think so. Maybe that's all the scrap metal we have. Just those three pieces. Um, do I want to harvest up these storm lanterns? I might just leave them here make a little collection right here um, they do have some uh, lantern fuel inside them I would imagine but I think we'll just leave these here looks nice yeah maybe I should have put them up on, on top you know what that's just gonna look so nice can't help it I love storm lanterns. It's just going to look so much nicer up on on top of our fireplace here. I'm always starting to think of a uh, future Astrid. You know, when she comes back here, we want to have this place nice and supplied. Plenty of fuel, plenty of materials, a little bit of water, a little bit of food. Um, so if we crawl in here one day and we're like almost dead and we just need to warm up and get food and it's nice to know we've got uh, a safe place 
I left a little bit of matches on the corner right there. A little bit of matches for Astrid in case something terrible happens. All of our inventory is gone. She can get a fire started. So, a little bit of coal. Okay, I think we're just about ready. I, it's too bad we can't read any of these books. Um, but I think we're just about ready for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take all three of these hacksaws and check which one has the best condition. And we might even repair some of these up. I think our condition is pretty low on some of these hacksaws. Where are they? Yeah, I mean, they, these are pretty low. I thought I had three of them. We just have two hacksaws. So let's use our scrap metal here and our quality tools. Uh, there's, we'll just use that one. Hopefully we have enough light left. We can repair this. We're we gonna make it. Yeah, we had enough light left. It's back up to 70%. That's good. And I actually wouldn't mind getting that up to 100% if it will let us. I think I need to 95, I'll take it. 95 is really good. Okay, how are things looking outside? It's a beautiful evening. It's really nice. Like that. Okay, we are a little bit hungry, and since we already have the parasite condition, I'm just going to go ahead and eat some parasitic meat. It's, uh, it's not going to hurt us. We've already got parasites. There we are. Let's get a drink. And uh, this is really the last night we can eat that meat, I think. Because um, hopefully tomorrow we will be cured. We might even be able to take our dosage even tonight, like right now. Should we try it? I'm going to try... Let's go to our inventory here. I'm going to try curing our affliction. So we've got the intestinal parasites, one dose left. Let's go ahead and eat our medication. Infected meat. Go ahead and use that. <sighs> healed. Hey, intestinal parasites. We have healed our intestinal parasites. No more. That is great. And oh, did we? <gasps> We've improved our condition, guys. So maybe our frostbite was only like 20%. It says frostbite times three. But uh, we did get a substantial increase there when we cured our parasites. So interesting. I'll take it. I wasn't expecting that, but I will take it. All right, what else do we have going on here? Um, just about out of... Uh, daylight so don't think I can repair anything more might be time just to head to sleep what time of day is it yeah let's uh, we're not like super tired we could we could get just a little bit more tired I wonder if I should run around for a sec just to get tired and we could sleep through the night kind of sounds silly but uh, I do feel a little bit heavy. I still probably have a lot of gear. What am I carrying that is so heavy? Don't die. We're good on medical. We're good on clothing. I think it's our food. Oh, we still got bear meat. Let's go drop that, first of all. Don't want to be attracting animals. Okay, get rid of that. Got some animal coming right there on the ice. He could smell us. Three of them. Three little black dots on the eyes coming right for us. I could smell that meat. Alright, let's see what other inventory we can drop. Lots of food, I think. So I'm going to stand over here. Maybe about right here. 
and then we can drop some of this food. I'm going to sort by condition. Definitely drop that. Actually, maybe we want to eat that. Uh, oh no, we just ate the parasitic meat, so we're good. We're good on food. We don't need to eat nasty peanut butter. Drop that. That stays good a long time. We can drop that. We pretty much survived on maple syrup for the last week, I think. Um, I think we're actually not doing too bad for food. I would like to... Maybe we'll leave the MRE here. MREs are pretty heavy, um, but they do give you a ton of food. Just a ton of food. Okay, why else are we heavy? So well, yeah, we got the extra hacksaw. Could probably leave that here. And I do need to fix up our bedroll. 85%. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, what else are we looking at? We could probably clean our gun tonight as well. Those are looking good. And we'll drop one of these. So I think once we sleep, I mean, we should be really light. I, I think we can be up to 40 kilograms. We're just at 29 right now because we're so tired. So all in all, that's pretty good. As far as tomorrow goes, uh, I think I'm going to leave most of this here. Uh, I probably will take the Distress Pistol. Um, and all the shells, the books. Um, but a lot of this other stuff we can leave. Mountaineering Rope. That thing is heavy. Mountaineering Rope. We got this extra gun here. And uh, it would be nice if we had a place to hang it, you know? Like right here. I'd love to hang it on the wall. If that were an option. So we'll leave that that guy here. What kind of condition was that in, by the way? 51? Okay. And, uh, you know what? I actually want to leave this loaded. I don't want to leave a gun here that's like has no bullets at all. So let's take this, go into our inventory, and find this uh, sort by alphabetical. Okay, here's the one that we want. It has zero ammunition in it currently, so we're going to use this. Uh, maybe it won't let us because of, because of our sprain. That's probably it. Cannot equip it because of our sprain. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and sleep. Do I have plenty of water? Let's drink up. All right, let's sleep up and rest and regain our sprain. I'll sleep for 11 hours. In the morning, we should be really good, guys. We cured our parasites. We will have cured our sprains. There we go. Sprain healed for our wrist and our and our foot. Let's drink up. Okay, I do need more water. Kind of hate to take. Uh, I don't even think I have water here. I don't even have a, any extra water. Oh no, I do. Okay, we got three three things of water. So I should probably put these somewhere more prominent. I don't want to boil them off. I'm hoping if I put them near the fireplace, I don't want them to actually evaporate. So maybe maybe just on the shelf here. Rotate it so they look nice. I'm going to take one of them. And we're going to drink up. Get nice and hydrated. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to get out the rifle. That's right, I was going to get the rifle out and load it up. Um, there it is. Let's use that. And okay, I didn't actually want to put all of those in there, but... Uh, 
Yeah, that's an awful lot. It'd be nice if I could just have a few of them in there. So I guess what I need to do is only have enough in my inventory to that I want to keep in there. Let's say five. Five rounds would probably be good. So let's unload this now. Actions, unload. Okay. So now I want to drop the other gun so I don't take any bullets out of that one. Let's drop that. Let's go in here to our, to our bullets. We got 13 bullets. So let's drop eight of these. And then we've got five left. So let's go ahead and use this now. Uh, where did you go? There we go. Use. And then let's put our five rounds in this. Okay, that's good. Let's drop this guy. I'm going to leave a cleaning kit here as well. And we'll drop a rifle. Sounds like we got quite the storm kicking up right now. Alright, we'll leave those here. Pick up our good rifle. Yeah, it's really quite the storm. Man, glad we're not traveling in that. Hopefully that will clear up before we head out. Okay, I do want to take all these shells. Um, we will leave a hunting knife here. Maybe the improvised knife. Well, that thing's cool. Just as a uh, conversation piece. <laughs> uh, let's check our knives here. Um, they're all in pretty good shape. I can drop this one. Oh yeah, we got our good whetstone. Forgot about that. Where did my knife just go? There it is. Okay, so we're going to leave this here as well. Leave our marine flare here. See how close I can get it right there, I guess. Leave a regular flare. Okay, as far as hooks go, I'm gonna take some of these. We don't need all of them here. I'll leave three of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them where we can see them, I guess. Let's go back here. Leave these nice and prominently right here. They are kind of hard to see, but I think uh, I think that we should be able to see them. I don't know. That is pretty hard to see. That's better. Nope, I want the fishing tackle. That's right. Astrid, if you ever come back here, you're going to be set. We'll leave the heavy hammer here. Although we don't really have a use for it here. I might I'll have to see how heavy we are when we leave. Um, as far as the hatchets go, I'm going to take both of these. Let's see which hatchet we want to drop. Sort by condition here. Let's see, 100%, 91%, 73%. So we we'll leave the 73% one here. This is a backup. There we are. I think we are still missing one of our 
fishing tackle. There it is. Okay, it's looking good. Let's take the heavy hammer for now. Painkillers. I will drop some of those. Okay. Drop the 76 percenters, I guess. go. Now we don't really have any antibiotics to drop. I mean I have a few, a little bit. We do have the reishi mushroom teas. So we'll leave those here. Um, fire strikers. Now do we want to take these? Probably leave one here. Let's check the condition on these. They're actually not in too bad a shape. I'll pick up all these sewing kits and I'll probably end up dropping uh, at least one of those. Let's drop one in good condition. Okay, we'll leave the good tools here. Got lots of lanterns. And probably take the books all with us. I'm thinking these are duplicates. So I might leave I might leave these duplicates here. Probably just end up being uh, firewood anyway. There we go. Rifle ammunition, we'll probably take that with us. Distress pistol. Yeah, I probably better take it. I'll leave the hacksaw here. I'll leave the matches. We got lots of matches. One of these has like a hundred matches in it. You know, I'm going to pick them up and then we'll decide which ones to drop. 120 and 108, 12, 14. So let's drop 25 of these. And we will take the rest with us. Of course, we got those matches up here as well, cardboard matches. Uh, as far as the food goes, I can leave these here. I'd actually rather leave the bad food here and take the MREs with us. kind of fun organizing all this. I actually like the way it looks when we're done. I think it's fun to look over everything and see how much loot we've gathered up. Even though this is uh, ruined, it's still edible if we have the reishi mushrooms. Reishi tea. So we'll keep that here. Uh, reminds me of ratatouille. <laughs> and uh, they only say it's amazing what uh, what you can eat once you've lost your sense of taste or something like that or once you get once you get past the gag reflex it's amazing what kind of culinary options become available to you <laughs> that's kind of where we're at uh, with the reishi mushroom tea reishi tea allows us to just eat all kinds of stuff we normally would never ever put in our mouth Labels out, make it look nice. Delicious dog food, yeah. Which way does this go? That way? Okay. It's looking pretty good. 
Um, we got another spray can here, right? Not hurting for spray cans. Let's see if we can get that to stay here. There we are. As far as the tin cans go, um, just leave those up here, I guess. I love that feeling when you come back to a, like a cabin or someplace and you've left it really nice, walk in the door, and you're like, ah, that's, that's what I'm trying to create here. You walk in and you're like, yeah, we're home, we made it. And it's looking like that. I like, I like that look here. Got the gun on the bed, lanterns up here, tin cans, lighter fluid, matches. Food over here is looking good. Let's put this guy where he belongs. Over here. Got lots of reishi tea. And I'm still hoping for that storm to pass. Sounds like it's just going on and on. Uh, fortunately, we can read now. We could be leveling up our cooking or something. That's looking really good. Do I want to leave the coffee here? I might. I think we do have a lot of coffee. And uh, we'll want it if we ever want to go back up to Timberwolf Mountain. That's looking pretty good. What kind of condition is this in? 53%, okay. 72%. And, uh... I may put this hat out here. I'll leave a hat here. Let's drop this. Also, the extra pair of climbing socks I think I will leave here. If I can fit those on here, probably not. Huh. I'll leave them up there. Now, whatever happened to the ski gloves that I had? Did I harvest those up or did I drop them? I can't remember what I did with the ski gloves. Those would be good to leave here as well. Um, let's take all this stuff. Could leave these couple of torches here. So let's transfer everything. Okay. All right. I'll leave the Long Johns here. Do want to take these with us? Probably leave this here. Let's leave a little bit of cloth. It'd be nice if I could have a pile of cloth, like uh, like stack it nicely, instead of having them all spread out. They got the music starting, which makes me think maybe the storm is passing. Can we drop this here? Uh, oh well. Of 
good enough. That's looking really nice, guys. I can just see us coming back here after 10, 15 more episodes or something. And uh, needing some cloth to repair something, and we're all set. Got it right here. All the tools laid out. It's looking really nice. I'm going to leave... Let's leave some torches here. I would have liked to have left more coal than this, but... I mean, that's actually not too bad. Five pieces of coal. I mean, that'll save your life right there. That coal gives you such a nice warm fire. Okay, let's go to... I uh, want to drop some torches here. That should be good. And they don't have to be perfect, just enough to add to the inventory of this preparedness location. Kind of looks like a bowling. <laughs> Those uh, boxes of crackers look like a bowling alley a little bit there. Okay, we're kind of heavy, so I may need to leave some additional items here. Let's check our food. I might leave some of these crackers. Maybe one MRE. Standard fair crackers. We'll leave it on the ground where the mice can have a little snack while we're gone. You know, this place has got to be just riddled with mice. I bet. I mean, just come right through the door. It's probably like a little nest of mice down in there, I would imagine. Alright, I feel like we're making progress. We don't need these anymore. Tinder plugs, I'm just going to put these, uh, let's put them in here. No need for tinder plugs ever again. Okay, so first aid. We dropped, I think we dropped some of those. Antibiotics, don't need to drop those. we're looking good guys um should i leave some cured deer hide i can leave a fresh deer hide here leave it here by the fire kind of looks nice oh, i could probably leave some guts here not a bad idea 18 guts oh yeah it's from that bear huh we'll leave uh six Kind of generous, maybe five. Okay, so we got five guts here. Where is a tactful place to leave dried guts? Don't really see me using wolf pelts. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here. these here. Don't currently have a use for the rabbit uh, pelts, but they may come in handy later. It is nice that this little shelter has its own crafting table. I mean, that is pretty cool. So I can put this over here. There we go. Crafting tables are so useful. Workbenches. I mean, I'm used to Playing Minecraft, but you need a crafting table all the time. Scrap metal. We, I'm. Uh, sh yeah, I guess I could leave that here. 
Seems like there's no shortage of scrap metal out in the world. So, okay, now as far as the guts go, I think this is a good place for those in the corner. Yeah, the storm is still raging. Kind of hoping it would uh, clear up right about now. Okay, nice. Ah, well, we could, since we got this storm, we could try to cook up all this food we left. This is all raw meat. Could cook that up, try to level up our cooking. Could read some books as well. Yeah, let's leave it open like that. Um, I'm gonna drop over here. I'm gonna drop our nice. We'll put things we're taking with us on this bed. Okay? So I'm gonna drop. Huh. Maybe, you know what? Better idea. I'm gonna put it in here. Then it's not making a big mess. That's a better idea. Okay. I'll leave all these in here. Okay, so these are all things we're taking with us. Just putting it in here. So we're lightweight. We do need more water, for sure. Okay. This will be real easy to just grab and go when we're ready to get out of here. Nice. Um, now, I also want to put the hatchet in here. Our good hatchet. So we'll leave our 100% hatchet in here. We'll use this one up. We're going to go out and harvest some wood. It's going to get really cold. Um, but I think we can grab some wood out here. Uh, it might be on the other side, actually. Let's head over here. Feels good to be lightweight. Really good. Okay, I'm just looking for some wood to harvest up. Hopefully we don't get too cold. And I thought there were some branches over here. I may have already harvested them all up. Hey, is the storm lifting? Kind of sounds like the storm's lifting. Um, could be wrong though. Okay, this is what I'm looking for right here. An hour and 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna hover over cancel. So we might get cold. 45 minutes, that's so much better. Okay, we're gonna get possibly cold. No, we're actually not doing too bad. Not too bad. Actually warming up now. Okay. All right, well, that's good news. The storm has lifted. This might be our window. What time is it? Oh, it's kind of late. That's the problem. It's kind of late in the day. It would really be good uh, Good if the weather were good. We could head out in the morning. 
Ah, we got wolves. Lovely. Just what I don't need. As soon as the blizzard's over, out come the wolves. Looking for food. Let's put on our crampons. Hi there, Wolfie. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. Hey, Wolfie. We're just gathering up some firewood. You want to help us? Yeah, let's grab some of this. See ya, Wolfie. Um, okay, now we got a bunch of firewood. Let's get rid of this tinder, the tinder plugs. And uh, let's get a fire started. Hmm, you know what? I just looked at the time. This is a really good time to stop. Perfect time to stop. So here we are guys, we have, look at how nice this looks. That is just looking nice. Can you imagine? Okay, let's drop, pretend we don't have the meat. Hopefully no wolf immediately out here. Let's drop all this meat. Okay. Pretend we are adventuring, we come in here, we're cold, we're tired, and here we go. Guts, fresh dried guts. Probably take the books with us, but otherwise we've got all this equipment, fishing lines, hatchet to break through the ice if we need to fish. We've got supplies, tools, climbing rope, cloth for repairing things up. We got emergency food and reishi tea. That just looks so nice. Plenty of uh, we'll leave plenty of firewood and stuff here. And uh, just looks great. Love it. Love it. Okay. Well, thanks for coming along with me. It's kind of been an interesting uh, episode where we're just doing cabin stuff, tidying up, getting ready for our uh, exodus is what I'm going to call it. We're going to have an exodus as we leave here. Um, but hey, we cured our parasites. We cured our uh, sprains and stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you a drink, Astrid. At any rate, guys, thanks for coming along with me. I hope you had a good time in this episode. And uh, I really hope to see you guys in the next episode. So come along with me. Got more adventures ahead. Take care. <laughs>